83 steps down and unfortunately our elevator is broken. So you know what that means? 83 steps back up. All right, are we prepared to do that today? Yes. Okay, we do recommend wearing the mask, right? If you don't have one, it's not that big of a deal because as we descend, it might be difficult breathing for some of you, right? Don't worry about that too much, but I do not mind if you lower it a bit. All right? If you guys care to follow me, we can start our tour. Guys, think. I love it. Accent, do you love it? <laughs> you can't have it. Oh, it's dripping. Say hello. Well, he'll be six months in a, in a couple of weeks. Ten months older. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, can everyone hear me? Yes. Yes. How's everyone doing today? Great. Good. You excited to see some caves? Yeah. Yes. Did sound very excited? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, so am I, because it's actually only my second day here. All right. Oh, no. So please be nice, but feel free to bombard me with all the questions you got, right? You can test my knowledge. So there's a few instructions that we do have to follow, right? One, the main one being, please do not touch our structures, right? We have oils in our fingers that do stop them from growing. All right. Secondly, for our safety, there is water dripping from the ceiling. We have a bit of a plumbing issue, right? That is a joke. It is, it is fresh water, right? So you might feel drips throughout this, and that is called a cave kiss. All right? Cave kiss is equal to one day of good luck. All right? So keep count of those. Okay? But also for our safety, we have these lovely railings. All right? Please use these as the steps do get very wet. Also, because those steps get very wet, no taking pictures while we descend, all right? Wait till we get to the bottom to take all those lovely photos, okay? Are we ready? Okay. Are we ready? Okay, let's go. Come down the left. under their neighbor's property, they went to tell him, Mr. Wilkinson. So Mr. Wilkinson then came down here for himself. When he came down here, he thought he hit a gold mine, as he thought this was fresh water, which would have been our only source of fresh water on the island. As you see, all our houses today have those nice white roofs to catch all our rainwater. This is how we get all our fresh water, all right? And when he soon realized that this is actually ocean water, salt water, he was unsure what to do with it, took it straight to the government, and they said, what rules are there are the caves, 
congratulations on your own cave. So what do you do with your own cave? You want to show it off, right? So he started opening it up a year later in 1908 to the public. And it was actually not through this beautiful tunnel using these railings you see today, but you would go through that original hole using a wooden ladder. Right? So you climb all the way down here without a tour guide like myself and actually hop in a boat like you see down there and row yourself around. Right? And even back in those days, they would actually let you take some of the stalactites home as souvenirs, which is why we see some like this here with flat bottoms. Alright? We obviously do not do that today. Alright? So Mr. Wilkinson soon realized this was a very popular attraction and in 1912 he was like, how do I make this more efficient? Decided to stick some dynamite in the tunnel and blew it all up. All right, and it took two years for them actually to get it reopened again in 1914, obviously because back then we did not have any cars or trucks or so, so it took all hand and horse and carriage, right? So for a little bit of the geology side on this cave, right? Have you seen the ones coming out of the roots here? They are stalactites, all right? Now the limestone, which makes up the whole of the island, has a lot of minerals in it, all right? So when that rain comes through, the calcium, or the calcium carbonate, which we call calcite, has come through, melt through, and it creates these beautiful formations, all right? Now, when they drip through these beautiful formations, they hit the ground and create stalagmites, like you see here, all right? Now, as the stalagmites slowly grow up and these come down, they come together to form columns, like you see here and here, right? When the columns form, after that, they only get wider and wider, right? When we go along the bridge here, on our right-hand side, we'll see two of our biggest columns. And if you imagine, it takes 100 years for just a cubic inch to grow, all right? So they estimate this cave is actually over 1.6 million years old, all right? Any questions? Very good. So the last step is just coming up here, right? That's why we have the science step. Don't forget about that. And some of you might have to duck coming up to the bridge right here, okay? Keep in mind, your heads up. Hey guys, you ready to go? But they might be sharks. No, there's no, no, no sharks. No sharks. You ready, now? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Do not touch him. That's the one rule we have. Do not touch. Nest. This is so neat. Wow, look at that. Some of them are as thin as a straw. Keep moving. I know, I wonder how cold the water is. It's 
No? I mean, it's cold, but it's not like freezing. Really? Can I just... I figured it'd be colder. That way, if you want to experience it all, face this way. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Imagine being down here now, like this. Imagine at 13 years old, I would have been picturing a lot of scary monsters in these waters, right? So as we spend a lot of time down here, we do tend to look at these crystals and see a lot of different shapes and figures. And if you look across the water here, we actually have the upside down New York skyline. <laughs> and we also have our own Statue of Liberty, yes? Oh, you all see that? I'm not going crazy. Right, we also have our own head monster right here, the head with the spine going up there. Right? So that's quite cool. We also have our romantic lights that do get some very good pictures. If you oh, wow. Oh, wow. I can actually leave these on if you like on the walking back. It just comes at your risk. Please do not drop anything in the water. Actually, we have a very large growing collection just down here. I birds and sunglasses. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh, look at the cell phone. Yeah. 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 All right, so if you guys are on the bridge just here, if you want to come up this end, and we do a little Congo line, if you guys stick to the right hand side here. All right, we are heading out of the Crystal Caves. We are the last one and out. So hopefully, they don't turn the lights off on us. Really cool. Water is really, really deep. I actually said it's not too cold. Oh good, everyone's waiting for us. I mean, I've just got probably less than 12 inches from me to the top. And just water just dripping all over you. All right. Got a tour guide waiting over here for us. So let's uh, take a quick break. Uh, we are heading out. Last ones again. Always wanted to explore. So he said the entrance to the uh, cave originally was up this way. Um, I think it was 130 feet, but I can't even imagine climbing down here and finding this. Luckily, we have uh, railings and stairs to and light to help guide us. I don't want to bore you guys with my uh, out of shape huffing and puffing up the stairs, so I'll connect with you guys in a minute. And we survived, guys. We are out of the Crystal Caves. As you can see, it's uh, raining. It's been raining all day. It's going to rain all day, so we figured this was a nice uh, little excursion to do with the uh, rainy weather. But uh, yeah, it was fun. Yeah, I liked it. Uh, $24 uh, per adult and $10 per child. 
uh, they do have the fantasy caves, which um, we didn't get a chance to do. Um, but there is, I think, a $10 discount when you bundle the two together. But now we are off to lunch at the Swizzle Inn. So hope you guys enjoyed.